Hello, I'm David, Bishop of Basing Stoke. I'm also one of the honorary canons at Winchester Cathedral. I'm delighted to be offering you a brief reflection this morning. Well, we got called into a national lockdown last Saturday evening. And I suspect many of us have been a little bit reactive over the last few days. We've got things we needed to prepare, final words perhaps we wanted to say, shopping trips we wanted to take for those we care for. And now we face 28 days with a different type of lockdown. I wonder where you're drawing strength from. The archbishops have called us to mark each day of the 28 days with a period of prayer. Now many people are doing that each day anyway. I would encourage you to carry on with your daily disciplines or download something from the internet that helps you meditate on scripture and say your prayers each day. The Church of England has a daily prayer app. An organisation called 365 offers you a devotion each day. You'll find something that really helps you. But at six o'clock each evening, you may well hear a bell toll as the archbishops have called, uh, called us all to pray for our nation at six o'clock every day for the 28 days of lockdown. I hope you'll join me in doing that. And why do I think it's so important? Well, so often in times like this, there's a passage of scripture that grips your heart and your imagination afresh. There's something that points you to the reality of who God is and who we are. That happened to me the weekend before last, listening to the radio service where Sam Wells was speaking on the burning bush in Exodus chapter three. Moses, standing in front of the bush, hears God call him by name. Hear God call you by name. And then looking at this bright burning bush that wasn't destroying anything, that wasn't uh, burning anything up, Moses became aware that he was in the presence of a holy, loving God whose love for him was burning bright. Receive that too. And then he hears God speak. I have heard the plight of your people. I want to hear the Lord say that now. I have heard the plight of your people. Moses, no idea what to do, how to engineer freedom for his people. But Moses says something quite profound. He says to God, here I am. I think we're on a journey over these next 28 days where we need to hear the Lord speak afresh to us. But every time that happens, you're invited to respond and to offer yourselves, not particularly knowing the answers, not particularly knowing the way forward. But I wonder if you and I say to the Lord, here I am, use me. We're going to find these 28 days will shape our lives in ways we never expected. As we face the challenge, as we face our resilience stretched thin, as we find our capacity to love needs to be daily renewed, my hope and prayer is it's God's love that will do that in your life and through you to those you share your life with. Could I say a prayer? Lord, take us and use us, I pray, over these next 28 days. Lord, may we see you clearly, hear your voice, and find our hearts respond to your love in fresh ways. Amen.